Organization says so called superbugs are among the biggest threats to global health today. They're the bacteria that build up resistance to antibiotics. In order to find new drugs to outsmart these diseases, you have to test a lot of molecules. This is kind of how we visualize um, what uh, of our lead hits will kill the bacteria. A breakthrough is in the works at the University of Texas. KXAN's Alyssa Gord shows us how. Since the 1980s, there have been no entirely new antibiotics on the market, and bacteria are learning to work around the others. Our peptide um, that we pull from our screen um, does kill the bacteria. That's why a lab at UT has come up with a new way of testing huge numbers of molecules to see if they can fight germs. The World Health Organization has put out kind of a, a banner like, guys, we need we need more of these and we're running out. So for typical testing of peptides and antibiotic resistance, researchers will test dozens of peptides in one of these trays. But with the research the folks at UT are doing, they can test hundreds of thousands of peptides in just one of these tubes at a fraction of the cost. Postdoc fellow Ashley Tucker named this technology SLAY. So I was trying to think of an acronym to kind of represent the words, but also it was kind of inspired by Beyonce. <laughs> the name may be fun but their work is serious. We hope that this research will produce lead uh, drugs that could be developed clinically and just as important as that is that we can enable the community, the larger scientific community, to use this process. That's right. They want to share their research because it will take even more scientists doing this to find the drugs that will really protect us. Nationwide, worldwide. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. According to the CDC, each year in the United States, at least 2 million people become infected with bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics, and at least 23,000 people die each year as a direct result of these infections. And that's why the CDC is investing quite a bit of money to combat antibiotic resistance. In Texas last year, it spent $4.4 million. 1.5 of that went to regional labs. Almost one million was for rapid detection and about half a million went to food safety projects. Texas was the eighth on the list for overall investment. Topping the list was Washington State at 9.5 million. That's followed by New York, Maryland, California and Georgia. Texans in 